3 find the generated volume in term of pi when the enclosed region by the straight line okay this one straight line curve and x axis and y axis is revolved fully about the x axis so we see here we want to know the enclosed region so this one is a straight line so y is equal to 5 minus x so we know that y is equal to mx plus c so y is equal to negative x plus 5 so just draw roughly so this one we know that this one is 5 so it's going down right so 5 so when x is equal to 0 5 so we know that when y is equal to 0 x 0 is equal to negative x plus 5 x is equal to 5 so this one is actually 5 5 so we know this line and the curve negative x square plus 4 so we know that when y is equal to 0 negative x square plus 4 is equal to 0 x is equal to 4 x square is equal to 4 x is equal to plus minus 2 so this one is actually 2 2 right and we know that so this one the graph is something like this so we know that the enclosed region is this one right okay so we see here about the x axis so we know that the enclosed region so the furthest one is this graph so this graph y is equal to 5 minus x and this one y is equal to negative x square plus 4 so here to get the this region we have to take the overall region here so when we get area and uh, when we get the volume for this one we will get this triangle and then when we get the volume under this graph when we uh, this one minus this one we will get the enclosed one so it's actually so here this one is 0 to 5 right so this one is 0 to 5 so this one is okay pi y square dx because x exists this one is pi y square dx okay so minus so i just give this one is y1 this one is y2 minus because we want to minus the volume this one to the curve so this one you see the volume that you wanted to minus is 0 to 2 by y 2 square dx so can you see here so what i'm talking so i just take the volume under uh, volume rotating under y is equal to 5 minus x and then i minus the volume for the second graph so that i can get the enclosed one okay so this one 0 5 and 0 2 is not the same so you cannot combine so you have to calculate separately so we have to know if we have the value of y1 and y2 so here we have y1 and we have also have y2 so this one 0 5 by y1 is equal to 5 minus x square dx so minus 1 0 2 y2 is equal to negative x square plus 4 don't forget square dx equal to 0 5 so actually pi we can take out so here we know that a plus b square is actually equal to a square plus 2 a b plus b square this is a formula so in this case a is 5 so 5 square so this one is plus 2 a b or if you have minus it can be okay minus 2 a b plus b square but it's actually the same because when you multiply everything this one when b is negative you will actually get negative here and anything negative when you uh, square you will get positive so 5 square 2 times negative x times 5 you get minus 10 x so negative x square x you get square you get x square right okay this one is done dx minus so just take out the pi so this one negative x square so negative x 
square, I square again. So 2 times 4 times negative x. So this one 2 times 4 is 8. 8 times negative x square, you get negative 8 square. And 4 square is 16 bx. So this one you get pi 0 to 5. So this one is 25 minus 10x plus x square dx minus pi. This one is so this one is 0 to 2, right? 0 to 2. So this one is, okay, negative x square. When you square a negative number, you will get a positive value. So x power of 4. So this one is actually negative 1. Negative 1 square, you get positive. So x square, you square, you get x power of 4. So minus, minus 8x square plus 16 dx. So from below here, see this one is 0 to 2 just now. So we can integrate. So 25, so we see this one is dx, right? So 25, it become 25x. So this one is minus 10, so you get negative 10. x is actually x power of 1, so it will become power of 2 divided by 2. Okay, and then the third one, we have x square, which will become x power of 3 divided by 3. This one is from 0 to 5. So don't forget your pi here. So minus this one is pi. So here x4 you get x power of 5 divided by 5. So this one is minus. So you have 8. So x power of 2 you see here will become x power of 3 divided by 3 plus 16x. And this one is from 0 to 2. Okay, Now we can substitute. So we have pi. So first you substitute x with 5, so you have 25, 5 minus 10 divided by 2, we get 5. So 5, this one is 5 square, plus this one is 5 cubed divided by 3. Okay, so this one, done. And then you have to minus, you substitute x with 0. So you can see that when you substitute, actually you will get all 0 here, but never mind, just show you. So this one is 25, 0, minus 5, 0 square plus 0 cube over 3, which you will get 0. So this one, everything is 0, 0, 0 is 0. So this one, you will get 0, because 0, 0, 0, right? So you have mi mi minus, so here you have pi, so we see the second one. x power of 5, so you substitute with 2. So this one, will become 2 power of 5 divided by 5 minus 8. 2 power of 3 divided by 3 plus 16 times 2. So this one. Okay, and then minus. So this one is 0. So we substitute everything is 0. And you can see this one will become 0 power of 5, which is 0. Should I just write it? Okay. Lah. So this one 0 power of 5 divided by 5 minus 8. 0 power of 3 divided by 3 plus 16 times 0. Okay, so this one will also become 0, which is equal to 5. So this one you get pi, 1, 2, 5 over 3. So here, minus the second one, we get pi, 2, 5, 6 over 15. So we see we both have pi, so we can combine pi and pi. 1, 2, 5 over 3 minus 2, 5, 6 over 15. So here we will get pi. This one is 1, 2, 3 over 5. Which is equal to 1, 2, 3 over 5 pi units cubed.